Welcome to Oh Brother, a podcast of three brothers trying to figure it all out with your hosts, Brandon, Colin, and Aaron. On this week's show, Bookshelf Garland. It appears that I had forgotten exactly what time I had set this appointment to. Well, I knew what you meant, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I um, kept looking at this going, I've got time, I've got time, I've got time. And then when I went to go click on the link in the calendar of invite, I would think, oh, <laughs> I did that wrong. <laughs> That's what I figured. So I just assumed <laughs> that you meant the normal time instead of whatever weird thing you put in there. So I was like, mm. oh, well, it's, I know what he means. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, um, not that this is turning into that kind of show, but um, I only have a voice today. Thanks to. Um, uh, <laughs> I, uh, boy, howdy yesterday. I, man, this week, uh, I was bad. Um, so for the, so I do interviews for the, uh, for another, for the other podcast. And I, uh, we have been kind of running low on interviews. And so I says to myself, I says, you know, I need to do, I need to spend all of my time in January and February, like, oh no, sl- you, slamming you, it, like, boom, oh, no. getting oh, ahead. No. <laughs> Um, and so what I have, what I have done to myself is I have booked, uh, three to four interviews every week out for the next month and a half. In, in addition, Good grief, man, <laughs> basically in addition yesterday, um, <laughs> I, uh, we are in addition to this, we are also heavily interviewing for new positions with our pet sitting company, which means tons of phone calls and then yesterday um i booked um three in-person interviews yesterday plus i had an hour and a half long interview for the other podcast and i had booked an inter- <laughs> a meeting with another business owner uh yesterday as well so f- from the hours of 9 a.m to s- almost seven o'clock i basically did non-stop talking um this it's a, this this is a no no idea. This is don't. This is not recommended. <laughs> do, not, do not recommend. Yeah. Do not. No. Oh my gosh. I was so. I was. I seriously was just. Uh, popping those basically nonstop. Um, there you go. All all the day long. Um. So, that's uh. The only reason I am upright and functional with my voice today. <laughs> oh my gosh! <clears throat> and then, and then I got to track. I got sidetracked with um, doing a broken link checker uh, <clears throat> for the websites. And oh, that sounds is, exciting! It is, and this is why it's very exciting because, um, well. If you have a small, there's a bunch of free tools that will do this for you, and it's really nice. Um, however, they are very limited, and so what the what they want you to do is they is they want you to just click one button and check your entire website. Um, but if you have a lot of pages or a lot of links, this does not work, and so you have to go page by page manually. Oh, and no. so. And so me not wanting to pay for this because this is something I don't do like daily. It's like, it's not oh, yeah. like, it's just like a every <laughs> once in a while type of thing. If, right. If I, if I were doing this as a, um, uh, thing, uh, I, I would definitely, uh, be better at that. So well, I mean, I, yeah, but I, I would pay for the tool basically, but since yeah. I'm, since I, I'm not, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I am basically doing like one page at a time and <laughs> checking, <laughs> checking these oh to my. make sure that the links are not dead. And, uh, boy, howdy. It's, it's shocking. I mean, it's not really when you think about it of like how quickly some things change and all this stuff. So yeah, I'm, uh, trying to stay on top of that because they don't like 404s nay yeah true nay the 404s (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh my gosh. So yeah, especially because they don't tell you, it just says that the link, but I have the, the, um, the link Im- embedded in like the word. So the, the word is hyperlinked. So I have yeah. to go in and figure out like, Oh great. Which word <laughs> goes to that harness? No. Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's, <gasps> oops, not, not what I anticipated to be doing. So it does make the web page more aesthetically pleasing. So yes, as opposed and more to- functional. So uh, <laughs> yes, a lot more functional. So I'm having to, I go in and I go, okay, so that, where would that have gone if I were using that link on, on just something that has says harness. So that's, uh, that's what my, I, my day has been, been spent doing, uh, finding broken links, um, and, uh, doing interviews. I will say yesterday uh, with the other quote unquote business owner that I met with um, <laughs> was, uh. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> so here's the keywords of, Hey, I'd like to get together and talk about how we can help each other and network. And I was like, Hmm, uh, either this is, this is going to be one of two things. Either this will be a genuinely like nice conversation or I'm trying to be sold something. <laughs> Yeah. Ed. When you hear the red flag word, let's get together and network. Yeah. That's yeah. like a big red flag of like mm, selling you something. Like it's like a- mm-hmm. <laughs> so guess what guess everyone go ahead on the count of three. Say what it was. One, two, three. Sell it. Yeah. Selling. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you don't actually partnership to you means i buy what you're selling me aha uh-huh. that that it's is not, supposed to be no no not generally how it's n- partners function it's not what a partnership <laughs> is <laughs> at all no not not generally um you know generally is something else <clears throat> But what do I know? That's not so. Look. So angry am I. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, voice already wrecked. Gotta waste time with this nonsense. Get out! I really, I feel, I really was. I was like, okay, this is fine. Um, of trying to just get. Like okay, I'm 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 literally wasting my time right now. Like I'm really wasting my time right now. And I went at one point he was turned and he was just facing away from me, uh, looking at the typing on his computer to show me another demo of what the software could do. Oh um, my gosh, what <laughs> I my eyes started to droop. I was so exhausted. <laughs> I was like, like oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, it's- can't deal with this anymore great it's so great i need to go to sleep uh, <laughs> oh my gosh so i um don't recommend that don't recommend that doesn't sound very very exciting no uh, at all no and it's one of those um the company was uh bought the company this this person works for bought the yellow pages so that should tell you a lot uh, about <laughs> what <laughs> yes yeah they bought out the underlying company oh. or the rights or whatever to the yellow pages wow uh, yeah so you know that should tell you a lot about what um I, it's, uh, yeah yeah well first of all I'm just I'm sort of in shock because the yellow pages is like the least relevant thing in 2023 that I could possibly think of. Yeah. Right. Like you don't there's a reason they don't have that anymore. Right. Right? Like that's yes, that's 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 so confusing that you would need that. And like, (laughs) well, 
<clears throat> listeners, they, listeners, uh, hold on, hold on, time out. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just remembered that we have many international listeners, and I'm not sure the protocol for uh, international things, but uh, the Yellow Pages in the United States, friends, uh, is was part of the phone book, right? So the big just book of phone numbers that they would uh-huh. give you, right? They used to do this. They would leave phone books on your doorstep, and they'd be in like pay phones and stuff. And the Yellow Pages was the business section. So it's like all the businesses of like town. So if you were in like Springfield, let's say, um, the yellow pages for Springfield was every business in Springfield in that part of the book. And then the white pages was the residential section, like other half. So this is why I am aghast because I haven't thought about phone books in quite a long time. <laughs> the new phone books are here, basically. <laughs> yeah, right. New phone books. And I, I can't think of any good reason why you would need a phone book let alone the yellow pages uh like whenever you know in 2023 when when like all these other things exist right like i don't understand right like, right so well so the point so what he, what this person's doing is they were handed over all of the old yellow pages accounts and were basically tasked with converting them over to this new company um and trying to get them to use the new company's software and the new company's everything um yes, but but google exists right so, yes well so like what <laughs> what's the point this is this is the thing and like he showed up and he was like <clears throat> oh look here's my um oh, what it was called the website checker tool that i've printed i've printed out for you right so here's step one he went and he he quote unquote scanned our website and quote unquote web presence and then printed it out in black and white uh and pushed the papers across the table and said i want to talk to you about kind of how things look and what i'm seeing and then it's all like well who's doing your website how who do you have marketing your stuff who's making your social media posts and i'm like yeah, we, me, we, me, me, and me, me. and Megan. Right? I mean, like us, it's and it's us, us yeah, right? I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's just like what are you talking about? Uh, and his whole shtick is like, big man got me down, little man can't get ahead. Like you know, a little bit. You know, us business owners gotta. Guess I'm saying, us business owners gotta stick together and do what we can. And I'm like, you're a this, sales rep. You're a sales rep for this business. <laughs> what are you talking about. <laughs> I, uh, for a for a multinational like conglomerate for that bill's website, it's like what are you talking? I oh know. man, a small time business owners, <laughs> woo, buddy, right? It's like, oh, it's real tough out there, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> uh, so uh, immediately turned off, and then he's all like, once he oh, yeah, finds out gross. that. Yeah, once he finds out that Megan and I own the business, uh, he, the the script flips to like the whole like. Well, yeah, I know. Like, got to go talk it off, talk it, talk it over with the, the little lady, and blah blah blah. <laughs> you, <I'm> gross. <laughs> get <laughs> what? Like, oh man, oh. didn't get him with the small business owner shtick. Better switch to misogyny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that wins him over every time. Ooh, who doesn't love a little misogyny in the morning? Yeah, That's what I see. Belittling fifty you percent know? of the business. Yeah, yeah I can't. yes. <laughs> wait, wait yes. a minute. <laughs> it is like you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I just sat like, um, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, anyway. So that didn't go over too well, and then um, I just kept you know. Again, I'm looking at this paperwork, and I'm like, none of this actually makes sense. Like, it's showing things that I know that are tr- like I know that are false. Like it was saying, like you don't have this kind, this you know X Y Z listing claimed, and I'm like, I literally like that's the first thing we've di- we did. Like, I don't know what you're where this is pulling from. And then he's like, and you're not on any of these. Lists. I wish. Oh my gosh, I sh- I should go find this piece of paper in just a minute. But like the the. <laughs> It, it's really important to be listed on on multiple directories so that you get backlinks that tell people that you're a legitimate business and looks at bills boost your profile. And I'm looking at these these listings, these business listings, names, 
you have never heard of ever at all <laughs> for anything like it's just pages and pages of these names that I am pretty sure the yellow pages and or this company made, um, up. <laughs> made up. Yes, they made up. They bogus. probably own those donate domains. Too, so it's like you got to register with this to be legit, aka us. Yes, and then I, this other one, which is different us. And then this third one, it's well, totally not us, by the way. Just like, yes. And it's all just generic things like bizlisting.net or whatever. And you're like, that is, that so is lame. This is not helpful to me at all. Like, I don't no. need to be on any of those. Like, no. I, what, what's actually important is that you are on topical, relevant, local directories. That's what you need. Not these random trash garbage things that they put on there. Like, oh, all of these are super mega important. I'm like, gross. Well, yeah, because you have to curate where you're going to be, especially for like your business. You don't need to be showing up on like search results and directory results for like Cleveland, Ohio. That will be just super unhelpful to anybody involved, right? Like, it's not useful. <laughs> yeah. No, and it's not relevant. That's the other thing. It's not topical. That's the other thing that I know. Like, yeah. <laughs> having talked to SEO experts and had them look at my website, the trusted like industry specific people uh, who work for Google on this kind of stuff, uh, sat down with them and they were like, yeah, you need to be on industry specific because the tighter the connection between you and the listing that you're on. The, the better reputation score that you get. Um, so you, yeah. And the better, like if people search for that thing, it will go there. Like it routes it there. Right. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> and so anyway, I'm just like, okay. Okay. Well, like I probably said, well, I did, the, I did the Midwestern goodbye about a thousand oh, times. Nice. Right? Well, I, the only thing I didn't do was like slap my knee and be like, oh, oh God, I slapped the knee. <laughs> That's, I didn't send it. the right signal. And he's all like, well, I know how it is as a business owner. And, you know, my parents had franchises in Branson and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm, like, I need to not be here anymore and i feel really embarrassed <laughs> and i feel like my time is being wasted and he was like well do you think i could get you on a 30 minute demo call yeah that's not, not gonna right, happen not right <laughs> now that's why i say that phrase all the time not right now um but thanks for your time <laughs> just think, oh. oh my gosh oh and this is like contrasted with another person that i had met the previous day about like we were interested in some different marketing stuff and we sat down and he had some things and he was like well i don't think any of these can actually help you so sorry about that and he, <laughs> he left i was like wow that was refreshing <laughs> like that was yeah. real honesty Nice. <laughs> really weird how that was. Um, but he was super. That was another thing of the um, just those brief educational moments of like, um, oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Just I, I just oh, um, real quick. Uh, first guy uh, trying to get me to sign up for his web account, weird service listings directory crap was like, so I don't know how much you use. He goes, I don't know if you're using um, text campaigns to boost sales. And I said, no, I hate those. <laughs> and he looked at me and I said, if I get a text from a company that sends that, that I like visited one time and I had to enter my phone number for whatever, like I, I will remove myself from that and most likely never visit that company again because it's gross. <laughs> and he forgot this pretty gross. Like I don't like it either. <laughs> He forgot this line of thinking about halfway through his spiel and then talk, started talking about how boring and old uh, email was and why texting is a great way to get because it doesn't matter what you're doing. When your, text, when your phone texts, you, you pick it up because um, that's just how we are these days. And I went, yeah, and that's really gross. Um, and I block those numbers and delete them. <laughs> And he was like, oh, right. Yeah, well, you don't, we don't have to turn that feature on. Um, cut to previous, previously, the day before, uh, um, the gentleman was talking about uh, how we could do a print magazine, we could send out direct flyer uh, postcards, or we could do um, um, targeted web ads. And 
he got really oh. excited about the fact that like you could geolocate i as my business could put a geolocation pin on top of my competitors so that when people walk in and leave there they start getting fed my ads as they go around the web and, and that's I, weird <laughs> it's like, really you talk about gross marketing techniques like marketers ruin everything and i i was like i said that doesn't make me feel really good like, well i mean like that's what you know that's what you gotta do and uh, blah 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 and i was like no i don't like that and then uh he later brought up he's like well it doesn't look like you have facebook pixel installed on your website or, or these tracking things like that's that'll help you blah 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 and i was like no no <laughs> no no nope i don't i don't want any of that i <laughs> it because here's the thing like if you install that stuff, um, I, I have my web browser locked down so that it blocks all that stuff. And I can't physically use certain websites because they pop up and they're like, looks like you're blocking ad tracking. You can't use this site unless you disable that. And then I go, well, I guess I can't use that website. And I move away. And so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like if, I, if I couldn't use my own website because of how I operate in life, like I don't feel like I should do that to other people people right like I just, that's true that would be kind of awkward right kind of, kind of awkward and i understand also like, can't even get on your own website to <laughs> right like well uh anyway i guess i'll just dang it <laughs> so it just it was another exposure to uh a gross side of of analytics and data tracking and i understand people use it and it helps it's why would you? Well, if you let the ads track you, you'll get more relevant ads and you won't just start seeing irrelevant things. It's like it's but it but I don't want the ads like I think you're missing the point. Like you think it's you think that's a good thing. And I'm saying like I don't want them to begin with just like I don't, as a I don't want them at all. To inter- yeah, just like so. So I uh <laughs> just smile and nod and go okay thank you yep it's great ah. <laughs> running away <laughs> so anyway all that to say um thank you for keeping me uh i need to cut that as a sound clip and i can inter- i can interject it at certain intervals that'd be kind of nice. oh, that's true <laughs> okay. okay kind of three. sound effect two three Good Foley work. Okay. Um, ah, ah, that's, ah, that's about, <laughs> so that's about all to do with me. Oh, uh, how, how have you been? Yeah, yeah that sounds uh, <laughs> sounds great. Uh, yeah. I don't know. So, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. We're not, uh, not a lot going on here, really. Right? We did some uh we had pasta making part two yeah that was fun oh yes it's you've branched out you didn't but you didn't do ravioli this time so you got a little more adventurous well i mean uh actually i think it got a little more normal right i feel like oh (laughs) (laughs) i feel like this was an odd order to do things and i feel like doing like stuffed ravioli uh like pasta as your first foray into pasta making is a bit (laughs) Of an odd choice, but you know that's just Good point. how I do things. When so. people when people uh, say pasta, they don't just they don't really jump to stuffed ravioli. They think sp- spaghetti, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So uh, we made that this time. Had some. It was one of my friend's birthdays, and they came over and had dinner and stuff. So I made some pasta. It was all right, pretty good. I don't think I ro- I didn't. So I didn't roll it quite thin enough, right? I feel like that's what I did. Oh. I got paranoid. I mean, it was still fine. It was just like, they were like fatter. And I was like, I was complaining. I was like, yeah, I didn't get them thin enough. My friend was like, shut up. These are great. What are you talking about? <laughs> so they like them. So that's all that matters, I suppose. But they weren't like quite thin enough to be like pasta noodles, right? They they ended up slightly more stroganoff-y, right? Than like pasta-y. Like what I was thinking, envisioning in my head. So <clears throat> I have to 
get over the like I think I think when I was rolling the dough out, right? I was sort of like I got to a stage and then sort of panicked and was like, huh, I don't want to go. I don't want I was like afraid of like tearing it, right? Or going too thin, right? Uh-huh. Just because I don't have that like knowledge of where how to make it thinner, right? Sure. Or like how far that you can take it with that and it will be fine. But it's like really quite stretchy. So it would have been fine, but I just sort of panicked, I think. And so that's something to think about for next time Mm. is try to get it rolled out thinner at the end because it was just a little too thick. I think made the noodles kind of too fat and it was like kind of difficult to eat a little bit. (laughs) But other than that, it was fine. Kind of feels like that moment when you're driving to a location where you're not sure about and you just start you start off with like all the confidence of the world and you're like, I know where the turn is, and then you're like, wait, it did yeah. I pass the turn? It was like how, that. How much more to the turn? I don't ah and then you kind of just dive and you're like, oh wait, uh no, next one. So <laughs> Yes, it was kind of like that, right? Yeah, that's a good analogy. Driving to a new place for the first time, uh being very unsure of where you're going kind of being a little bit like having a vague idea of how it works but not all the way there so there are still some refinements that need to be made but you know on the way it'd be fine uh yeah that was pretty good and when you when you okay so talk to me about the cooking process for them you're what you're you're cooking them raw right you're not letting them dry out or anything no like no, that. no no yeah okay just throw them in a pot Okay. So and, that means they take like uh, just like a few minutes and they're done. Yeah. Right? It's just like, I could boom, feel like done. that'd be pretty easy to overcook those. <laughs> yes. That's the other thing you kind of got to like be careful because it is a weird. Because if, yeah, I'm used to making like dry noodles. So that takes much longer. Right. This is like three to minutes and it's done. Like, so you got to be like, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go. Ah, so that's a bit. That's a bit of an odd adjustment, too, right? Because it's not something that I'm used to being done that quick. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it's real fast. You just kind of throw them in, then they're done. Like, <laughs> and are you? Are you? Um, what What happens after that? Because uh, are you are you throwing them into like a warm sauce to finish cooking? Or uh, this time you... we did well. This time it was just like because she would already made all the sauce, so yeah, it was just sort of like <clears throat> boil noodles and then take them out, like get the water out or whatever, and then strain them, drain it, all that, and then yeah, put it back and just sort of mix it in the sauce for like just a second to get them covered, and they were ready to serve. So mm. basically, it was pretty fast. So. It was good. It was fun. Hella fun just hanging out, doing stuff, and uh, making noodles. Oh, yeah. yes. I, I have uh, I've told the children about this, and they both looked at me extremely quizzically. Quizzically. Uh, about... <laughs> 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 I had to, to encourage them and say, no, no, this will be fun. We, I, no, we will enjoy this. It will all be fine. <laughs> they, yeah, I told my, one of my other friends at work, and she also looked at me extremely quizzically like, what do you mean you've made? And I was like, yeah. She was like, really? I was like, oh. first of all, <laughs> thanks for the vote of confidence. Right. Uh, second of all, <laughs> feeling really great now. Not necessarily unwarranted, mind you, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sort of half joking. because was like, you know, fair, not fair known enough. for my ability to cook things, but. Um. <clears throat> ah, sorry, got my microphone cable twisted up over here. So, oh no, they live. It was like falling off the thing. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty fun. <clears throat> Not much to Susan's dismay. Uh, in order to have company over to the house, uh, the Christmas decorations had to finally come down. Sadness, <gasps> right? Much oh, distress. No. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Did any are any pieces still up as a as an homage to Okay, well so yes, there are some um the uh garland on the bookshelf, right? Sure. Bookshelf garland. 
Uh, and then she put some lights in the kitchen on top of the cabinet, right? Those are still there. Oh, yeah. And there's like a, <clears throat> like one of those like painted wine bottles that has Christmas lights in it. Uh, it has a snowman on it. So that is wintry. So that's still there. There. <clears throat> yes. And um, actually the piece de resistance of the after Christmas decoration decorations. Um, the second Christmas tree is still up <laughs> in our bedroom. <laughs> however, a, wait, however, wait, wait, I, I need to savor that sentence. The, <laughs> the second Christmas tree. Okay. I'll, okay. <laughs> okay. We could <can> continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, after, <laughs> it is, uh, it has been, uh, Derobed of all of its Christmas decorations, right? But um, it is now a winter tree. There are like pine cones, a la Mimi, on there, right? Uh huh. And like yep. some little, just like woodland animal decorations, right? So like some owls. There's a moose on there. It's very important. The moose is very important. Um, the <laughs> so it's like. A winter season tree. Yes. Yes. It's it's a very very key distinction I learned directly from from Mimi was that there are, <laughs> there's, there's Christmas, but then there's just the more generic winter decorations and yes. still being kind of confused. But it's fine. Yeah. Yes. But Susan has embraced this right, and so we have the other tree still up, still has lights on it, obviously, because you know why would you not do that? Um, <clears throat> so that it's still. There's still cheeriness. Uh, just the level is down a bit from before, right? Okay. So it's she's decided that it's too much of a shock transition from all the lights to zero lights. So we now have this intermediate stage where there's just like some around. And then, <laughs> some would call it a withdrawal period. But <laughs> yeah, right. It's like e easing out of it, you know. <clears throat> so that's what... <laughs> right. So yes. We have that. That's what we going on. So that that we had, that all had to happen, and then uh, before all the people came over, because we had to like make sure they had places to sit, right? So they had to... <laughs> we're the tree's kind of big, and then the way so on Christmas decorations, yeah, not exactly comfortable, but understood. That's fair. Yeah. So that was pretty much the excitement of the week. Other than that, I had an in service on Monday in which absolutely nothing got accomplished. Zero oh. things. I did zero. Zero things happened. Why? Actually nothing. I don't really know. Mostly, again, this is one of those, like, they were talking about, like, okay, and step, okay, here, the real secret is nobody plans anything. That's kind of the real secret. They're not good at planning. <laughs> oh, nice. They're kind of bad. They're kind of bad at this whole thing. Um, <clears throat> so there was, like, a meeting with like the leadership team, which I am not on, uh, but dodge that bullet. We, <laughs> we drew a name out of a hat because none of us wanted to do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so my, the English teacher got d drawn. <laughs> so look, uh, that's probably pretty good. Cause a lot of the stuff they're going to be talking about, it's like the reading curriculum or whatever, which she does. So I would, I would be less than useless in that meeting. So <clears throat> the right person was chosen. But that's all they had really scheduled was that. So oh. I just, I didn't have anything else to do. I just was kind of in my room. I cleaned some stuff. I was doing like research about like school topics and things, right? For like to get like ready for other things, but like I didn't really have anything to do at all, right? I entered grades for the presentation that I'd already graded, and that was it. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> that was a start to the week. It was like made this whole sort of made this whole week feel like it's very long which is not a mm. good sign because it's still only january so 
that's not great. Um, I don't <laughs> No, I, I had that. Um, <laughs> I forget who I was talking to, but uh, was like, was, was, was Monday? Was, was that MLK day? And I was yeah. like, I was like, yeah. And he goes, man, this week is not moving. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it is not. <laughs> It's was brutal. Like, so yeah. that was. <clears throat> it's been a little rough, right? Although we did have the wonderful highlight of we got to talk about uh, that most wonderful time of year where you explain the process of mummification to sixth graders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. <laughs> they do love that very much. Or just look at you and go, oh, why? <laughs> so that's fun. Trying to explain like overly complex topics <laughs> to sixth graders. Always exciting, right? Very fun. <clears throat> so, yeah, pretty much it. Fun times. Fun time. Did I tell you that we've been walking a lot? Did I tell you this? Uh, I think that did. I think that did come up, uh, in the, and we t- discussed how I'm sure uh, it was a little bit different, not having um, the oh, yeah. the yeah, yeah, dog yeah, yeah. to to, yes, to guide yes. you and protect you in the evening. So yes, okay, yes. So it's still going. Today was another off day. Susan wasn't feeling great and it was really windy, so it's like hmm, we're take off today. But we're doing that yeah. still, right? Haven't collapsed and succumbed to exhaustion yet, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. Cause, we we actually went on a we did get out for a very short walk today cuz the wind was just brutal uh and it was super cold and not pleasant to be outside at all but uh I am trying to go like okay like let's just get outside for just a little bit today like just a little bit get outside run around have some fun uh or just go for a quick walk and we we generally do I don't know if you guys do um like any uh <laughs> for us we have a lot of cats in our neighborhood so before we start we always say how many cats are we going to see and obviously price is right rules uh and so we all ah, guess a number nice we'll always guess a number and uh see who gets closest without going over by the end of the walk that's pretty good that's a good idea we don't have that many right we are usually guaranteed to see guaranteed to see at least one yeah uh but there are only like three so Usually, there's one of them out there. <laughs> well, and, and we've we've identified um, basically all of the houses along our walking path that either have cats on the porches, uh, in the bushes, or inside that bask in the windows. Oh, so we can see. Nice. We got to see. Check the couple windows in the houses as we walk by to see is there a cat in there? Is it in there? Um, so there's a lot of places to look and be vigilant for, so they don't surprise good. you. That's true. Surprise cats can be dangerous. Well, we have a cat that likes to go into the storm drains. Oh, it's very confusing. He'll just like leap down there, and I don't know what he's doing. Right, like the like this little sewer grate thing on the side of the road. You know, this, yeah, the, the, yeah. He just like he just like goes down there. He'll just be sitting there, and he'll just phew, down. So, oh, well, that's wild. Yeah, it's weird. He goes down there all the time. Uh, he, I've never seen him jump out, but I always see him again. So. I'm, you know, clearly he's getting out somehow, unless he's teleporting sure. like a magic cat, right? I don't oh, know. But he does. He, Coraline, he likes though. to go down there. I don't know why. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know where he's going. I don't know if it's. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Warmer, Bizarre. colder, something down there. I don't. I don't have any clue. It's probably. I don't. What, do you think it's probably warmer? I. I, I don't know. Be warmer? Uh, maybe it's not as windy. I don't, yeah. know that. I don't know if it's warmer. Well, but I mean, I guess if it's dry. It might be warm. I really don't know because it's concrete and stuff down there too. So that's not warmer. That's a good you point. Know? That's cold. Yeah, yeah, and it's not like the um the steam and the whatever vents in yeah the, in around yeah. New York City and Chicago. Uh, <laughs> that you see in all the all the movies because that's how i know about that because yeah obviously home alone harkening back to a previous discussion about yeah home alone Alone too um (laughs) 
lot of lot of shots of walking the street with steam pouring out of vents in the, in the, in the sidewalk. That's a <clears throat> that's a weird staple of movies set in New York. It's almost how you know it's in New York. There's like a a manhole with like tons of steam blasting out of it at some point, right? I don't know if that's just because it's dramatic looking or what, but, or it's just like such a well-known thing that happens in New York that they're just like, we have to put this, it's like part of the New York identity. So you have to put it in a movie. <laughs> right? yeah, we will get yelled by so many people <laughs> if we don't put this in. I don't know. So I'm not sure. I, I I think yeah. it's the scene setting aspect of it. Like it could be it's just so dramatic, like in a dramatic effect, right? Yes. Steam rising up from the manhole. Right. It does look cool in the Ninja Turtles movie. So there's that. Uh-huh. Um <clears throat> so actually, actually, come think of it, I guess now's a good time as I need to tell you this. I will be able to uncover part of this mystery myself this summer oh yes we are going uh on a trip with the school to new york so (laughs) well that's awesome so there you go so that will be i might be able i don't know how well you'll be able to discover this phenomenon in the summer months because it might be too hot but we'll keep an eye out for steam vents it will Uh, will will require you to to look Yes, that's for sure. Yes. So, boom, there's that. <laughs> oh, well, that's really nice. So, because um, last uh, last you went, uh, you traveled um, a wee bit further. Um, oh, yeah. A yeah. Ocean or a couple, two. couple. And so are you are you going to be seeing um, you, what's the what's on the agenda for I'm traveling? not to you? entirely sure. Right. To be honest with you. I'm not real sure. I know there are, it's one of those, it's like the educational tour thing. So I think it's a three city deal. I think they're going to, I guess we are going to New York, DC, Boston, right? I think that's one of those like early American history tour thingy deals for like the school or whatever. So my friend is like the sponsor and stuff of that whole thing. So I don't even remember how many kids are going right now, but <clears throat> They're going this summer, and so we're going to. Yes, why not? Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'll have more details closer because I don't remember oh, what we're okay. doing. Right? Pretty sure Chinatown and Ellis Island are on the list. I think they were talking about that the other day. So, so uh, immigration history and fake luxury goods. Boom! Got it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> truly you know, the american dream right there it is like, <laughs> well <laughs> d- depending on who you ask um <laughs> and so what i did you did you say what what age group is going what what ah uh, it's the high schoolers high I schoolers think. yeah okay yeah so so like a ton of them but they're going so we're like yeah hey, we'll go too it'll be fun so yeah <laughs> that'll be a lot of fun and um and so Man, that'll be yeah, that'll be really interesting. Um, I I still I still have never traveled to New York. Uh, yeah, I've so neither. I, so I have, <laughs> this will nothing, be nothing to compare it to. But that'll be quite. I think that'll be quite a lot of fun. Um, especially seeing. Hopefully, you guys go to see like a um, Broadway show or something, or uh, probably off, slightly sounds... off, uh, p- parallel to Broadway show. Maybe. Yeah, nearby, so, right? Nearby, <laughs> Broadway adjacent. Yes, um, Broadway adjacent. I like it. <laughs> so yeah i don't re- i don't actually know the i guess well i'll probably find that out a little bit closer to time it'll be well, more. sure i haven't really thought about it too much uh to be honest with you and <laughs> i just sort of thought about it right now i was like oh yeah i am doing that huh look at there <laughs> <clears throat> so surprise <laughs> very uh so i mean if you're anything like me you'll start packing now um to nah, because I'm me, and so I don't even remember what day I leave, but I'll probably start packing the day before that. Day before, um, nice. <clears throat> being as that when I the last yeah the last picture if I went out to Australia, I didn't even have a suitcase big enough until like three days before we left. So 
I had to go to Walmart and like oh. buy like a suitcase. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> the only suitcase I have is like a duffel bag. <laughs> and I was oh. like, mm, that's a little too small. So, whoops, that guy. <laughs> that's, uh, you know what? That's one way to do it. That's for sure. Hey, that's... it's it's how I roll. So, but this time I think I need something smaller because it'll be much more crowded area. And I don't like carrying suitcases around. So, I have to think about the solution to this problem. Right. So, we're being highly mobile in a densely populated area. What I don't want is a big suitcase. I'm sensing day. I think you need to get a um, gross. a day pack, day hiking pack. Maybe. Uh, not that could be more useful. That's what I'm thinking. Not like a big one, no, right? Not like no, a, no, no. Uh, but the um, yeah, just one of those little day packs. Yeah, they're they're smaller. They're like what twenty two, twenty four liter uh, oh, yeah. backpacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. And you got to do the, um, I, not that I was looking this up for any particular reason, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> there is the one, one, two, three, four, five, six rules for clothing. Uh, you pack one hat. The what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, like this is, this is the, okay. So anyway, okay, here's what you do. Pack one hat, um, two pairs of shoes that are completely different. Obviously you wear the bulky ones and pack the thin ones in your pack. Um, three bottoms. Uh, so a combination pick and choose long pants or shorts. Four tops match accordingly. Um, five pairs of socks, six pairs of underwear, and uh, <clears throat> that is enough to get you through most for almost a week uh, or a little bit more uh, <laughs> of of everything that you need. So that's <laughs> what you do, and then you pack. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. I and then you have a packing list for depending on where you're going. You can get a poncho and other stuff like that. So double duty, it's double duty items is what you need. <laughs> is is it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that way. Why were you looking this up? I look. Okay, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's eleven o'clock at night, and you just want to know. How do would I optimize a backpack for extended periods of travel without being bogged down and carrying too many stuff? Because you just have to kind of plan that out sometimes in your head. Do, um, do you? Yes. Is this it's, like yes. for when you just like accidentally end up in Tajikistan and you're like, oh man, now uh, what uh-huh. do I do now? Like, I gotta- uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. When the black vans pull up outside oh, your house and you got to. You gotta you gotta bust it um you gotta be able to go on the run uh not run you gotta go on the ex- <laughs> extended run no running like it's just an extended exploration light packing um and that's the, but that's the other thing of like when you read all these articles it's at no point in no, zero points uh during these conversations do any of these articles say if you have children uh <laughs> no well because they're assuming if you are on the Qu- uh, totally not on the run, right? For an extended period, of time. <laughs> light you won't extended be having... traveling. Yes, yeah. <laughs> People that do light extended traveling probably don't bring a child because now it is not light traveling anymore. <laughs> you know, okay, it's it's fine. So, <laughs> but yes, I was just I have uh, you know a couple of saved, saved articles, but yes, the one, two, three, four, five, six rules um, will get you through like a week. Of traveling, we'll see. Right, if you show up to the O oh Brother U.S. tour and you have three shirts, I am going to be very cross with you. Okay, as what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a- <laughs> right. I need four shirts. Three got- <laughs> it's fine. I got this. Look, it's saved. It's an article. <laughs> I got the. I got the printout. Very important. Very important. So this. Is- Oh, anyway, so there's your little tip for the day. That's what I spend my I spend my day talking to terrible salespeople and then going, what if we just had to go on the run? I mean, extended travel period for like from a month at a time. So I can get away from the salespeople. <laughs> and I cannot okay, deal it's, with them. it's all making a lot more sense now. Actually, it is, right? now you're, I- <laughs> you're like daydreaming of getting away from your location took a, like a weird turn at like. 
starts using the term like exfil, but like, you know, other than that, it's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Right. Yes. Yeah. Whenever when I started when I started specking out um uh uh, handheld GPS internet communicators, uh, satellite communicating devices. Yeah, that, um, that, that, that took a turn in a hurry. Probably, right? probably should have been on private browsing for that kind of work. But yeah, anyway, that's the, it's, it's the <laughs> signal, right? It's the alarm yeah, goes off. Right. Yeah. All of the flags start being flung, <laughs> flung up. Yeah. Well, well, anyway, uh, <laughs> this is what we would call odd behavior. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things where, like, that all sounds great, right? It sounds fine, you know? But, but like, the reality of the situation is, like, this is fine when you were, like, you know, in Boy Scouts, you know, and you're, like, in the middle of the woods. No one cares. Like, everybody smells bad. It's fine. But then, like, the second you have to go back into society and you, like, walk into a gas station and, every, it, like, you just know that everyone's smelling you and that's awkward. <laughs> right. So like, uh, huh. It sounds fine, but like, no, it's not a game. <laughs> well, and just, I, and I know me, I know people do this. They do this and I, they'll do different challenges where they're like, I'm going to only travel with what was it? It was like 33 items, including like the backpack kind of stuff and like oh, they would go grief. what yeah yeah that's that's how some people travel and they count like it's not just the the computer they have that's one item but then like the charter charger is another item and everything counts against it and they mm, have to i think those are the same item i think those are the same. <laughs> so they they try and do this like really extreme can I not just can I do everything in a carry on, but can I have a carry on that has slack in it? Basically, I'm not cramming it full of stuff because if it you can always maximize the amount of items, but they're I mean minimalist things, uh, yeah. and that doesn't sound appealing. Um, <laughs> and I doesn't. understand the I understand the basic principles of a lot of this of going, don't pack your shampoos, right? Your your uh, your hotel will have shampoos, uh, or yeah, you but could... it's so bad, right? <laughs> right, well, it's kind of trash to your shampoo, right? Well, like, and then, well, then what? What a lot of these people do is they'll just when wherever they land, they buy the shampoos there, and then I go, but that seems kind of wasteful because then, like, I can't use a whole shampoo bottle in in a week. Like, that's yeah. Not... <laughs> <laughs> and then you're so, cheating because now you've added an item to your thing, right? <laughs> uh, video game rules determine that you have now exceeded your uh, maximum carry maximum capacity, carry. <laughs> right? And now you have to slow walk, or Ding. you can't fa- and you can't fast travel, so you you can't do that, right? That's not how this works. Like if you that's that's cheating. I call shenanigans on that. No <laughs> sir. <laughs> so. And they're always looking at different kind of packs and maximize or like minimizing the amount of stuff they have in them. And I, I read a, we uh, followed a guy who did blogging uh, and just traveled the world like that, just nonstop going from place to place to place. Uh, and, but I, while that sounds nice, like extended periods of travel, I, there is just a part of me that's like, yeah, but I, I need a home base. Like I, I need some place to land uh, that's still mine and not just always another hotel. Like that, that sounds very, um, very not fun. Yeah, no, I agree. Because it's just awkward, right? Like my mind can't really go around that too well. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> yeah, I again, I think the idea of traveling for a month or more it sounds wonderful. As long as I know that there's going to be an end date to it, <laughs> and I don't have to be uh, schlupping it that entire time. So. Yeah, right. Because that that doesn't. Yeah, that's that's odd. <clears throat> you know, it's it's. I don't know. Maybe again, this is me being attached to my stuff, right? Being the maximalist that I am, right? Like I don't. Want to... <laughs> <laughs> like I need things around me, right? Like stuff. It's like comforting, right? So like 
Plus having a place that's just like, ah, oh, calmness now. Yes. And like a familiarity, like a sense of familiarity, I think is important too. So that would be. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of those ideas that like sounds great, but then. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We need a, we need a, a stopping point. Cause like it's a fun point. You just got to, that's my personality too. Like, all right, when are we done? We have to be done with something. I'm not just going to like, <laughs> like, right. Right. I need an end date to this, please. Yeah, right. Like mm. endlessly wandering around is, it sounds cool, right? It's very, <clears throat> there's almost that like, there's a, like a romance quality to that kind of thing, right? Because it's like how some movies are, right? That's how video games operate, right? You wander around from place to place, you know, you, there's like the mythos of like the the backpacking Europe, that whole like shtick, or like the was just about to say that whole like yeah. it's very over romanticized of like yeah I backpacked uh, across Europe for uh, for the summer <clears throat> and I'm back yeah or like the that like very there's like this weird like romanticized version of like hobo culture in like the 1930s like hop in the train Tra- just oh, traveling oh. you know right or okay. my boy shy right from youtube right just tr- hopping freight trains across like montenegro or some random place like that like <laughs> I, t- I did go down a train hopping uh <laughs> it's so weird <laughs> it's, right it's I, I don't understand. I don't of of what. Yeah, I went down a rabbit hole of that as, as well. So, man, all these points are adding up terribly right now. <laughs> yeah, but that's the that's the th- that's the interesting part about like his videos anyway. Shy and his other guy that he goes with. I can't. His channel name is Gift Guess, but it's like he goes by Poison. Like they're like nicknames, right? Because you got to be stealth mode when you're freight hopping illegally tr- crossing borders in Europe, right? But. Like, that's the kind of thing they talk about. Like, they talk about, like, the adventure and the journey and blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, all right, that's time to go home. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, it was fun. It was cool to be out there. Right. It was exciting seeing new things or being in, like, new environments. And then it's time to go home now. Like, got to go home. Got to go back to the base. Got to do the thing. Right. Rather it's to, you know, like, just to be in a space that is familiar or be in a place where you know things or an environment that's more stable for a while before you go back out again, right? That's kind of seems to be how it is, but yeah, re- restabilize, regroup. Yeah, regroup out. Uh, regroup before the next one. Kind of rest, regroup, recover, and then, you know, go again. But like, yeah, those are. <laughs> <laughs> but those are very easy video rabbit holes to fall down. That's... Right? Those are very. They go quite. <laughs> you just you're all of a sudden you spiral out of control. It's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it all started with, huh, what are some, you know, how, what, what if I, of going, you know, packing light, that sounds like a nice thing. And then, yes, next thing you look up, you're on some freight hopping videos uh, for somebody like all the time. You're like, well, that, that escalated quite quickly. <laughs> does, does escalate quite quickly. That's what. <laughs> That's someone <laughs> should put a break, some brakes on that. <laughs> but I think that's the, it also kind of speaks to that. Like, I think that that sort of like fantasy is appealing in modern life. The like disconnecting from like everything. Right. And just like being for a while. Right. I think that's, yeah, that's kind of the real uh, romantic part about the whole thing of like you're not tethered really you're just sort of like away you're away from like your all your online stuff or all this other things all these like very draining social and emotional contracts that you have right like just away <laughs> well, you're right it is very it is very, um in some extents and probably for a good chunk of them uh, in a very a reaction to the hyper connected uh always on kind of society always findable um you can like well it, you can 
track phones. Like Megan and I, we can see each other's phones and you can add family members to do that. And everybody always knows where you always are. And yeah, I'm, that, that does get a little um, you know, uh, uh, oppressive at times going, I can always be con- connected. I can always do something. People can always ping me or f- fax, you know, get, get a hold of me in some way. Yeah. That, and, that expectation that you're available, right. At like, you know, forever. Like you said, yeah. the, going back to the beginning, when you're talking about the texting thing, like when somebody texts you, you just answer your phone. Like, yeah. But like, that's a, a learned response, right? That's not like, yeah. you, know, you know, cause your brain's always like, Oh, this is important. Like, Oh, this is urgent. Right. Nah, it's, it's not, it's somebody trying to sell you X, Y, Z product apparently, but like, <laughs> Well, and it kind of it manifests it in, in several different ways of um, the this escapism of get removing yourself from contact, uh, and also exhibits it in a lot of well, in a recent trend where people are ditching their smartphones, opting for a dumb phone, right? Going back to flip phones in some extents, uh, and not so that they can't be connected. They just physically cannot and they don't have access to the distractions people don't have access to them in a million ways of and i understand that of going my god my goodness um people can facebook message they can instagram me they can email me they can text me they can whatsapp me they can snapchat me they can like all these different deals attached to you uh, (laughs) and going um no you can call me like there's just one way to get me and that really helps reduce a lot of the anxiety too of am i missing something did something go to trash did 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 somebody try and contact me but they have that wrong contact information or did i delete it's just going all that gets stripped away it really simplifies a lot of the the mental burden of trying to keep track of everything too yeah i can see that right i can see how that could be beneficial for some people right Which I think cause I don't have that problem because I don't <laughs> do that and I avoid all phone calls like the plague. But mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> it's definitely like this like fantasy appeal. I'm like, ah, no expectation of people calling me or no expectation of me reaching out and having to do things for them, right? Mm-hmm. Really, it appeals to the... That's kind of like what we were talking about the other day of like the that like that last time of like the early 90s, right? Of like there's no expectations of being connected to anything ever, right? It's sort of like calling back to that time. Just be like, ah, yeah, I'm just away. And it's fine. It's normal, right? But we've normalized like being able to like talk to or reach out to or communicate in some way to anybody at any time. So that's, you know, <clears throat> that's definitely overwhelming, right? That is a lot of pressure and burden, right? Because like, I know I, sometimes I just don't want to, I don't, No, or like you have this pressure of like you're sitting there in like you know you're in some one mental space and then somebody will text you something and you're like oh no i have to respond but you're like not in the mental space that's necessary to respond so there's just like kind of edginess kind of takes over because you're like what you have to drop whatever you're doing and sort of like switch gears and think about that and like takes you out of whatever you're doing right which is super annoying. So, you know, in that respect, hopping a train sounds great. In actuality, a little less great, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the, the, uh, that task switching is really, is really difficult. It's really drain on you. Just oh, it's, I can't, it's, it's difficult for me. Like that's hard for me to do. Like it's really tough. I don't like it. <laughs> To just be like, I need to sit down and it happens. It does going. I need to sit and focus and do some you know, deep work or deep thinking or processing. And you get in the flow, you get in a flow. And then who knows what can, it's not just barging in a door. It's some ringing the ping of the email and it disrupts that. And it can be really frustrating. Yeah, that's, that gets me a lot. I don't like that. Right. <clears throat> that happened to me on Monday. It was terrible. Oh, I got it. Um, <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. Everything's fine. 
there. It's a uh, yeah. So I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to ditch the smartphone yet. But well, yeah, how are you going to take pictures of your train hopping experience if you get rid well, of the smartphone? So that's well, see that that's where this that's where this really falls through because you there is this other concept of like of 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 unitaskers of buying the best thing to do one thing uh which is completely antithetical to the having less things having right? less things <laughs> right yes like oh i need to disconnect so what yeah what happens is and I, there was a, a, a another blogger that i i read a lot of was he ditched the smartphone and he bought like a, the best non smartphone and he did and then he got like a really great camera and then he had a music player and he had a you know um a, a gps device he had all these devices and i'm like now you have you have no room in your like, now you have to yeah. have a backpack to carry yeah. all these things. now now what you did on accident was take your one thing and turn it into five so yes. that's now <laughs> you've done the opposite of what you're telling everybody to do what do you <laughs> what do you do exactly <laughs> so it uh just kind of it's like well that kind of you know falls through the cracks there um and i guess we'll just you know uh, not not do that um i mm, what to do what to do yes. indeed who knows <laughs> we don't <laughs> <laughs> definitely not me i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> And on that bombshell. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, before we do go, uh, I I was instructed to tell a story on the the podcast um, quite emphatically. So I will tell the story on the podcast. Okay. Here we okay. go. Story time with Colin. Okay. Da, we were da, da, da. <laughs> driving. Yeah. Driving in uh, the new car and uh, the GX and we're driving and this it, first off it's one of those things of where you go um genuinely genuinely in the past 4 years i had seen this car nowhere in our town nowhere in our town and now it it's like i i have seen more of these almost in where we live than down in springfield like it's it's insane oh what a trendsetter you are i know you I know. So anyway, we're driving and um and I know that's a phenomenon of like, oh, I got a green car and other green cars everywhere. Well, cuz you yeah. your brain now is like, is that mine? Uh it's yeah. very like, pattern matching it, is really strong. Yeah. Um <laughs> and it's my children are already starting to catch into this uh because <laughs> they um we're driving and uh Lillian says, "Is that our car?" And I look up ahead and I'm like, "Oh, that's funny. That is." It's on our car. It's in front of us. That that's a white one. Ours is black. Is that crazy? <laughs> oh man, we see these all over the time. And then like <laughs> we're driving out to her school, and which is out of the city a little bit. And I'm like, yeah, it's still in front of us. Oh, that's crazy. And then it starts turning, and I'm like, oh, that's wild. It's turning there too. That's <laughs> crazy. It's going this way. And then <laughs> and then. <laughs> And then, like the driver of this vehicle, like really slams on it, and they start going really fast. So obviously, I'm like, "Where are they going?" And so I step on my. <laughs> and I, oh my gosh! Like, what are you? <laughs> they're freaking out that you're chasing them. That's what they're doing. <laughs> That's what they're doing. And we're getting. They watched Jason Bourne last night, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, this other car's following me." Let's go. Evasive like, maneuvers. And what makes it great is that this is the perfect vehicle to do evasive maneuvers in, because you can oh just go gosh. down the rocky <laughs> track and you go through the marsh, and you could be oh yeah, pull off to. This, perfect perfect for that anyway <laughs> we're driving and i mean like oh, we're going i'm like this is crazy who where is this why is this person coming out here and we're following them we have two in a row it's insane it's the same model whatever and then <laughs> they turn into their school and i was like oh my gosh no, there's I'm another not. one of these at her school now <laughs> what is going on <laughs> And so we're we're having and Lily goes tell that story on the podcast. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lillian. Appreciate it. Uh, the eldest. Uh, <laughs> um. 
And then I had to go and figure out who was driving in and say hi. And that, anyway, that's the truth. <laughs> Man, how awkward was that? I bet you totally didn't make that awkward at all. Because you would never do that. Ever. S- smoothed it over. <laughs> smoothed it over, did you? <laughs> smoothed it over. Just was like, hey, <laughs> cool. Like, what? Like, how are you like? How are you liking this? Because I, like- <laughs> I like to imagine you like standing next to your car and you like slap the hood and like so. So you like it too, and then like he's uh, like awkwardly staring at you, like what? What? You like, you like the ride? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like, uh, call the principal. <laughs> get around it. Yeah, please get inside quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that was. <laughs> I call it making friends. Oh, do you? <laughs> they call it's, it stalking, but that's okay. Uh, that's what, yeah, exactly. Stalking's fine. Stalking's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's, that's hilarious. I like it. <laughs> do my best. Do my best. <laughs> try, try and be nice to people. <laughs> Dumb. On that bombshell, uh, yeah. Well, Look, there we go. Yeah, we'll we'll leave it there. Anyway, love you. <laughs> love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>